Who knew having an interesting last name could be so problematic? Today we have the story of the ass man who can't get a vanity license plate in the land of the living skies. Dale Osman of Melville, Saskatchewan likes his last name. And you know what? I totally understand this because my last name, it's pretty cool too. Now, Osman likes his last name so much that he really wants to put it on a vanity license plate. But SGI, Saskatchewan Government Insurance, says it's a no-go. Why? Because Osman is spelled ass man. Thanks. Ass man? No, no, these don't belong to me. I'm, uh, I'm not the ass man. I think there's been a mistake. What's your name again? Cosmo Kramer. Cosmo Kramer. You are the ass man. No, I'm not the ass man. Well, well as far as the state of New York is concerned, you are. <laughs> Yes, Osman is really the ass man. Osman told CBC, it's my last name. I've always had it. I'm not ashamed of it. There's nothing bad about it. But echoing the Manitoba government's banning of this Star Trek inspired assimilate license plate, SGI said the spelling of Osman's name could be misread and cause offense to other drivers. Again, according to the CBC, SGI spokesperson Tyler McMurchie, you know what, that's an annoying name right there, says SGI guidelines do not permit license plates that the general public may find offensive, suggestive, or not in good taste. The government deciding what's in good taste, that's far different than not permitting plainly vulgar things like the F word, don't you think? Now, McMurchie also said, even if a word is someone's last name and pronounced differently than the offensive version, that's not something that would be apparent to other motorists who see the plate. I feel like these plates, though, they would be a fun conversation starter, but not according to the wet blankets at the Saskatchewan government. So SGI is rejecting Osman's vanity plates because they are worried about the emotional reaction of other drivers on the road. Let me just put a marker down right here in the interest of public safety. If you get emotionally distraught over a license plate, you're probably not emotionally stable enough to be on the road in the first place. Being in control of thousands of pounds of steel and glass and plastic hurtling down the road at 110 kilometers an hour, that's pretty serious business, not for the faint of heart. In fairness, SGI has banned quite a few words from license plates in recent years. Of course, they've banned the crude and vulgar words, but they've also banned words as tame as crack, farts, gonads, hooter, neat, hooch, newfie, no buns, a version of the word redneck, wanker, the word wang, which appears to me to have a Chinese spelling, and poop with three O's. But apparently, it's perfectly fine in Saskatchewan to have a plate with a slogan that makes fun of the American president. Darren Lanigan has the word Covfefe on his plate. The policy first invoked to initially prevent Lanigan from having the late night Trumpian typo on his license plate states that license plates cannot contain political slogans or in the words of that same SGI spokesperson with the annoying last name, a word that has something of a political origin in that it was coined by a politician. Yes, SGI initially banned a Twitter typo. SGI eventually relented and Lanigan got his license plate, which he said sums up what's going on in politics down there, referring to the United States. Lanigan said, it's nonsense, and this is just a perfect summation of the nonsense. So despite an SGI policy against political commentary being on your license plates, it's pretty clear that Lanigan was indeed making political commentary about the state of our Southern neighbors. Sounds like Lanigan's not that much of a Trump fan, which is perfectly fine. I think it's Lanigan's right to express himself on his license plate. If a Hillary Clinton fanboy wants to go down to the licensing office and put forward on a license plate, have at it. I bet SGI would let him. But how much do you want to bet if you rolled into an SGI office and tried to put MAGA or don't tread on a license plate, you'd be quickly refused. 
I bet that's a given. And as for the ass man, I hope he fights on and I hope he gets his license plate. And then he takes his car on a road trip from Climax, Saskatchewan, all the way to Big Beaver, Saskatchewan. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Hey, Rebel fans, let's say you're on a road trip from Stoner, BC, all the way to Balls Falls, Ontario. Did you know that you can listen to Rebel Premium shows the whole way there? Just go to the rebel.media slash shows or find us on any of your favorite podcast directories.